first video, I showed how Rancher is a complete control plane for multi-cluster Kubernetes and how the software created by Rancher Labs works in every environment. In this video, I'll share with you how the industry has evolved in just a few short years and how SUSE has positioned itself to support you and help you succeed. Let's get started. When the founders of Rancher started a company in 2014 to build a container orchestrator, a lot of their peers thought they were crazy. Then, between 2016 and 2020, container usage in businesses grew by 300%. And I don't mean that they were running one container and then they were running three. 300% 300 growth across the industry. When Rancher pivoted to go all in on Kubernetes in 2017, some of the people who absolutely loved Rancher's old cattle orchestrator thought that that move was suicide. What does that tell us? It tells us that the founders of Rancher are visionaries and their visionary drive has joined the pioneers at SUSE. It tells me that there are great things coming in the future. Curiously, during that same time period, there's also been a shift from public cloud back to data centers as companies realize that a technology like Kubernetes makes it easier to do the things in-house that sent them off to the cloud a decade ago. What does that tell me? Well, it tells me that there's opportunity everywhere and that we're all sailing in uncharted waters. We're all free to make our own destiny. It tells me that you're hungry for information that you can use to make good decisions and that everyone is willing to try things like trying on clothes at the store just to see what fits. For some of you, it might be a suit. For others, it's jeans and a t-shirt and flip-flops. There's no judgment here. Wear what you like. Use the technology that solves your problems. And when it stops solving your problems, use a different technology. That's today's world. Vendors recognize this. And the best vendors are agile and move with you. As individuals, you and I are pretty savvy. But as a whole, humanity is subject to market fluctuations and momentum. Some companies try to tell you where to go by inventing solutions for problems that don't exist and then trying to convince you that those are the problems you have and that only they can solve them. SUSE handles things differently. SUSE looks at what people can accomplish with technology today and then tries to predict what new opportunities will today's technology enable tomorrow. Kind of like how changing gears on a car or a bike lets you go faster with less energy. Pretty soon, you'll be going fast enough that if you had wings, you could fly. And when that time comes, Seuss is gonna be standing there holding out a pair of wings for you. We're not gonna convince you that you need wings when you're still walking down the street. When you're in that part of your journey, we'll help you find more comfortable shoes. And then we'll help you find a bike or a scooter, or if you're bold, a one wheel. <laughs> So now that I'm back in the United States, eh, I kind of want to get a one wheel. Sweet. The biggest force of momentum in the market is free and open source software. It levels the playing field because money is no longer the deciding factor for success. You and your competitors, whether they're other companies or other people applying for the same job, all have the same access to amazing technology. The deciding factor shifts to you and to what you do with the opportunities that are available to you. It's important that open source software is free and open source. It's not enough for a company to say that you can go and look at and contribute to their software because let's be honest, no one really looks at source code for software that they're not running. These companies won't let you run the software until you pay for it. So what's the value of open source software that you're not allowed to use? Being able to see the source code for something that I have to pay for doesn't make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But being able to install it and test it and shape it to solve my own problems, now that's what I like. And that's what opens the door to creativity and innovation. The security of Kubernetes is something that's at the top of everyone's mind these days, with supply chain attacks becoming much more prevalent and the direct financial costs of a data breach climbing higher and higher. The best way that you can secure your cluster is to test it and the best suite of benchmarks are those from the Center for Internet Security. Rancher has CIS benchmark scanning for Kubernetes directly within the UI, and SUSE publishes a hardening and remediation guide that tells you exactly what to do to secure the Kubernetes clusters that you deploy. Now, security is no joke, and we work tirelessly to make sure that you have the tools you need to easily scan and secure your environment, 
and to give your own users the power to deploy Kubernetes clusters that are secure from the moment that they launch. One of the many cool things about SUSE is that the support matrix and SLA for Rancher, the product, are available online for everyone to see. This shows the operating systems and releases that we support, along with the versions of Kubernetes, the container engines, and all the bundled software. Nothing goes into the SLA without being part of a test suite, and no release ships without approval from our QA team. Everyone benefits from the testing that we do, whether you pay for support or not. So even if you're just a community user of Rancher, as long as you're running within the specs of the support matrix, well, you know that your configuration is solid. So it begs the question, why pay for support if all of this stuff is available for the community? The answer has to do with leverage. When you're using a bunch of different technology stacks in production, you could hire specialists for each solution, or you can get support directly from the company who makes the software that you're using. Rancher recognized early on that no one wants 10 support contracts for 10 pieces of software because every company will blame every other company for whatever problem you're having. Rancher solved this challenge by agreeing to support your environment and everything in it that touches our software. That leaves you with way more energy to focus on the things that grow your business. The result is that Rancher created, and SUSE now delivers, the best SLA in the industry for Kubernetes. Our support team has outstanding scores from our customers. 9.39 out of 10 for customer satisfaction, 6.37 out of 7 for customer effort, and a net promoter score of plus 75. An NPS score above 50 is classified as excellent across the industry. That SLA not only covers Rancher, but it also covers Kubernetes, the container engine, and as much of the bundled open source software that ships with Rancher as we can. If you have a support agreement with SUSE, then you can call us and we'll help you fix whatever issue you might be facing, even if it's not with our software. We're gonna work to get you back up and running. And when it's something that's covered by our SLA, that commitment extends all the way to creating a custom patch release for you that fixes any issues in upstream software while we work with the upstream to get a permanent fix installed that fixes it for everyone. If it's something that's not under our SLA, we'll still help you troubleshoot it, and then we'll give you the information that you need to go get the other party to fix it. Compare this with other companies who ship you a neutered solution that hides what you can do with Kubernetes. They hold the keys to the kingdom, and, well, you have to go through them if you want to do anything in your own environment. They call this an opinionated platform. The word opinionated is a red flag. It says that there are certain roads that you're allowed to use to reach your destination, and that's it. Companies do this to reduce the number of problems that you might call them about. They can deliver one watered down solution that they claim fits everyone, when in reality, it only fits the one tiny area where everyone overlaps. They do this so that they can charge you for support that you never use. Like if you bought a sports car that has a governor on it that prevents it from going more than 10 miles an hour. SUSE's solutions give you access to the full power of what Kubernetes can do. And we give you a set of guides to get you up and running quickly and safely. You can learn on your own time and then you can explore your clusters while they're humming along delivering services to your customers. We say, here's the keys, kid, go have fun. And if you get stuck, we're here to help. In the next video, I'll go into how everything Rancher Labs created was released as open source and how that legacy continues today with SUSE and all of the new projects that we're creating.